Today, we're joined by Dr. Vincent Persepino, a prosthodontist in Bethesda, Maryland, who has extensive experience in this area. Dr. Persepino has been doing dentistry for 30 years, 23 years of which have been in prosthetics and dental implants. He received his dental degree from University of Maryland in Baltimore and also his prosthetic degree from NYU. He is a fellow in Academy of Osseointegration and the Greater New York Academy of Prosthodontics. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Can you tell us about your approach to implants in the smile zone and uh, what factors you consider important in your everyday therapy? Thank you, Ryan, for the invitation to speak here today. I appreciate the um, opportunity to share with you my experiences. We have gone through many years of, of transitions in implant dentistry where we've gone through traditional types of placement and waiting for final restorations to today's current technology of immediate load on implants that are placed immediately from extraction sites. And there's been many things that have been said and discussed in your previous podcasts which talk about the, the conditions and the requirements for such treatment. What I'd like to do today is talk to you about specifically the management strategies, how the surgeon and the restorative dentist transfer the patient from one office to the other or from one chair to the other and have a cohesive, coherent, uh, organized process of placing the implant and then providing the provisional restoration. I'd like to talk about a typical immediate load case in which the patient's desire is to have the root removed and an implant placed and an immediate provisional restoration placed on the implant. So there's no time loss um, and inconvenience of having a missing tooth showing or using a removable appliance. So this first case, I'd like to demonstrate that. Uh, what we have here is a 40-year-old uh, female with a right uh, front tooth that has a broken root and can't maintain a crown. So what we do is we do a special kind of impression index of that crown and send the patient to the oral surgeon. And the oral surgeon atraumatically removes that root very painlessly with some local anesthesia and, and very simply with some special instruments that causes very little trauma. And from that missing root area, he places an implant. And the implant is placed with certain dimensions and specifications that allow us to provide this immediate uh, provisional restoration. Sometimes there's needed uh, bone grafting and sometimes not. It depends on dimensions of space that are open. But this is all taken care of by the surgeon. And once the implant and graft is placed in, the implant uh, is then topped off with a special kind of abutment. You see right to the far right here. This abutment is tapered in shape, shape and allows the um, retention of a simple white thimble retention cap on that temporary abutment. And that's the context by which the restorative dentist that you're sent to will make a temporary restoration immediately on this implant. So that temporary abutment is screwed into place and placed by the oral surgeon. It's never touched again. There's no disruption of the uh, surgical site at all. And the restorative dentist simply uh, takes that white cap and um, covers it over with acrylic resin from that special little index that he made earlier. And that acrylic resin is allowed to set and shapes within the form of that index, which is the original shape of the tooth before it was removed. And that is popped off the uh, provisional restoration and filled in some, with some voids and smoothed off. So it really looks very, very much like the original tooth that was removed. And what happens is the dentist does some special venting holes in there, uses uh, a very good, solid, permanent type of cement, and cements it onto this temporary abutment, and then cleans the cement off and makes sure that when you're biting down, you don't have any type of forces on that tooth and implant. We call that occlusion. It's non-occlusion, non-occlusal loading. And we just make sure that you can't hit it if you grind around in your teeth. And we give you directions not to chew on that tooth directly. You can chew and eat foods, but just not take something like hard carrot and directly chew down on that one tooth. And it's completely manageable for six weeks until the integration process has occurred or the the bone growing process has occurred on the implant, for which after that you can make your final definitive crown with full contour and full occlusion. And that is a very basic, simple 
routine type of immediate load implant that's done day in and day out that's very simple to coordinate between your oral surgeon and your restorative dentist. Thank you.